Welcome back to Lumwifa Classic and an update on my new workshop. If you missed the first video on the workshop, there'll be a link coming up right now and you can check it out. But here is just a quick glimpse of what it looked like before. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. It's getting there. It's almost done. It's been a lot of work. It's been a project with my whole family, like in the previous video as well. It's been uh, me, my wife, my mom and my dad. We've all been working on this together as a family project and I'm really, really grateful for all the help I've gotten from them. So now I'm going to show you around what it looks like. It is still very much a construction site and a work in progress, but a lot of progress has been made. Since the last video, the floors are ready. They've all been concreted up. So all the floors down here are one level where the cars will be. I've kept it a little bit higher over here, basically because this was almost impossible to get away. So maybe at some point in the future, I will redo it and take this away. But for now, this doesn't really matter that much. So the edges have been smoothed out. So it's just easy to walk up and down it. Because this will be the work area with a workbench and then some storage shelves over here. The walls have been smoothed and plastered by my wife and they turned out really nice. Then my mom and her have painted them as well. And the whole space is just becoming really nice and bright when everything's becoming white. It's really made a huge difference before they were all peeling and there was brown and all this debris from animals scratching against them for years. Because remember, this used to be a stable. So this looks fantastic. Over here, we also finished up these walls that weren't finished on the right and the left of the door. And this will be the new entrance into the workshop because the old entrance over here will be removed. And in its place, we're gonna put a large garage door because we need some way, of course, to get the cars in here. So that door will be gone and the window on the right but the window on the right I'll be reusing over here because that window is broken. Where you see the window in the middle, there used to be a door a few days ago uh, out to the back, but I don't need that door. It's not something that I need in the workshop. I need more light anyways. So we put bricks in there and mortar it up and put in that window. So now during the day, it's really bright in here. This door, we also boarded up from the back and then my dad made these shelves for me, which are really cool. And we painted them white. So this will be a decorative shelf to put cool memorabilia, car memorabilia, cool small signs. You can put stickers along the sides of the walls here. Uh, cool old oil cans, small matchbox cars. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to put there, but I thought it'd be really nice to have a small bit of memorabilia in one part of the workshop. Over here is the workbench. This workbench was already here and it was a little bit bigger. There was a U coming out here and going over there. But this is basically all I need. It's more than five meters wide. It's about 5.1 uh, meters from end to end. And that's more than enough for working on cars in here. This was also painted white by my wife, the board back here, and this will become a tool board. So basically you're gonna get a bunch of fasteners and lay out all my tools up here so I can see them really well. I also had these lights. They're kind of like these type of bar lights that can go up and down. They used to be a little bit longer, but I shortened them. So I'm gonna hook them up up here and I think they'll put some great light down on the workbench and also I think they look really cool. Over here, I put a bench grinder. We built this table going out from underneath the workbench with an extra leg going into the wall to basically mount a bench grinder and possibly a drill over here, but I'm not exactly sure if that's gonna go there yet. But a lot of this is just putting stuff down and moving it around. The only thing that's actually been bolted down yet is this vise here, which I think I'm really happy with the position of it. It's a little bit off center, 
but the floor is really good for standing here. So I think that is the perfect place for that. Anyways, as you can see, a lot of progress has been made since we started working on this workshop about a month ago. I'm really grateful for all the help I've gotten from my family. It's been a really fun project to do together. So the next big thing is to put in that big door and basically make a ramp outside so you can get cars in here and then hang up all tools and start organizing and getting a feel for where everything's gonna go. But pretty soon this will be the new place where most of my videos will take place or the workshop videos at least will be in here. So maybe I'll set up a little bit of a set as well with some good lighting and be able to get some really nice workshop videos. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please hit that like button, share this video with your friends. If you're not already subscribed, I highly recommend that you do. I put new videos every week. You can go to my channel, check out some of my old videos. And until next time, I'm Adam, and this was Loma for Classic. I'll see you soon.